Hey guys, Jamin here, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. Uh, we have an Acer Chromebook we're working on here. We're going to show you how to swap out the hard drive and RAM if you need to replace it or upgrade it. Uh, the model number we're working on is a uh, C710 series or a Q1VZC series. Uh, they, they go by the same number. Now keep in mind, this is an older model so it shouldn't really matter, but keep in mind on any computer repair you're doing, when you're breaking a seal or a sticker to get out a screw, which we did here, uh, you're avoiding your warranty, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, we, we took out this screw here in the middle to release this panel. Uh, now I'm just gonna pop this panel up, like that. Uh, your model, if it's a little different, you may have more screws uh, than we did, but in our model, it only took one screw to release that panel. So just to zoom in a little bit, this is your uh, RAM, and this is where your hard drive or solid state drive is gonna be. Uh, now the RAM is held in pretty typically. There's two little spring-loaded arms here that hold the RAM in. So to release it, you bend these arms back and it pops up and then you just slide it out. Same goes for that one. Um, there's a lot of numbers on these RAM sticks. If you want to know how to buy the correct RAM for your computer, check out the link um, in, in the description uh, so you know what to search for to buy the correct RAM because not all RAM is going to work in all computers. And if you buy the wrong RAM, your, your computer won't work. Uh, and then to get this back in, uh, keep in mind there's a long port, short port, so the orientation matters. It's got to go back in this way, it won't go in that way. So slide it in there, be careful, get it nice and flush, nice and secure, and then just push down and it snaps in. So relatively easy. The hard drive is right here. Uh, this is a SATA connection, S-A-T-A, -A, and it's a 2.5 inch hard drive, which is pretty typical in, in, in smaller laptops. So that's how you would know how to buy this. Um, it's a SATA connection, 2.5 inch, and then you can get it whatever size you want, uh, 500 gigabyte, one terabyte. Um, you can also go to solid state drives. Uh, but this is placed in there. We're just gonna pry this up a little bit. Get this up. And it's plugged into the board right here, so it's slide it out of the board like that. Same thing, this has an, an orientation, a long port and a short port, so when you're putting the new one in, make sure you get it the right way. Snap that in and then that goes down like that. Uh, so that's how you would replace and uh, change out your hard drive and your RAM uh, by just note the Wi-Fi card is here, the antenna is unplugged there, it screws in. Uh, that's not a very common part to have to replace but that's where your Wi-Fi card would be uh, and this is where your fan is if you have to clean it out for any reason if it's getting dirty. Uh, so that's how you would replace the RAM and the hard drive. Uh, if this was helpful, please like and share if you have any questions. Uh, leave them below. We try to get back to you at least a couple times a day on, on the questions. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.